I have a couple of uh, Bob Dylan quotes that I would like to uh, to just get your comments on, if anything comes through. Yeah. Um, the first quote. Quote, the closest I ever got to the sound I hear in my mind was on individual bands in the Blonde on Blonde album. It's that thin, that wild mercury sound, it's metallic and bright gold with whatever that conjures up. That's my particular sound, close quote. First of all, did you say that? No. Oh, uh, I was quoting. It doesn't that. sound like anything that would have come out of my mouth. Look, with me, they do all kinds of things. Uh, if people don't get an interview, uh, if they can have an interview, uh, God knows why they would want one. But if they can't have one, or they and they have, they must have one. For instance, and, you know, they'll write their own on me. They've done it in the past. That's not, you know, that's not a crime you know, to to do that. Uh, so when you say this was attributed to me, yes, uh, you know it may be, it may not be true. When Rolling Stone did a uh, list of the hundred best songs ever written, hundred best rock songs ever written, and like Rolling Stone was way up there, uh, you uh, responded to a questionnaire of theirs where you talked about the song. Is it fair to say that you would consider that one of the best songs you, if not the best song you've ever written? Oh, that's, you know, that that's not, to me it's not uh, any better or any worse than, you know, um, any any of the other songs that were written in that period. It just ha happened to be one of the ones that uh, it was was on the hip right. And uh, it's managed to survive because of that. You don't have any... It's powerful to have a song on the hip right. You know? Um, you can... Uh, you know, you can... You, you, there are people still playing now who only had just one, one hit. Who may not have any mad any more than this one, one big time hit. But you don't have any particular affection for that song beyond the others? Oh yeah, uh, to me it's alive, you know. Uh, <laughs> Look, you know, uh, Frank Sinatra might have recorded a song in the 40s with a different kind of band that, that he's singing the same song with today, you know. Uh, but it's a song that holds up. So that song holds up for me. Um, okay. You know, holding up means, means just... Uh, Discovering new things in it, and 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 uh, 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 every time it's performed. So you can't be a singer and sing some kind of song that's not going to be new for you every time you perform it. Well, my role as an artist would be to stay true to my art. Well, who says it's art, though? Who calls it art? Not me. You don't consider it art? No. My stuff? Yeah. No. Why should it be? My stuff don't hang in museums. What is it? If it's not art. It's performance. So you view the book... It's like dance. It's like anything else. You go to a stage and you see, uh, uh, you know... You see movement on the stage. It's 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 like a play. It's a dance. It's uh, it's all that stuff that happens on the stage. That's what the makes the records. See, it's not the other way around. 